So Nordstrom dropped Ivanka Trump's product line today, and Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, tweeted out at Real Donald Trump and through his POTUS account, the official White House president's account, something along the lines of uh, Nordstrom dropped my daughter's uh, product line because of political, political beliefs. They're trying to punish her political retribution for my policy, my immigration order, my executive order. And like always, the media is hyperventilating. Now, a few things about this. I love it when I hear people on TV talk about POTUS, at POTUS, at P-O-T-U-S, President of the United States, that Twitter account. How it's a taxpayer-funded Twitter account. I mean, they're saying it on CNN and MSNBC. Well, he's tweeting from a taxpayer-funded Twitter account. Oh, my God, that's so horrible. Wait a minute. Taxpayer-funded, funded Twitter account? Hello? Hello? Twitter is free. It's free. Boy, I don't want our money wasted on that Twitter account for him to attack corporations. Oh, my God, how much money did that cost us? Oh, that's right, nothing. That's number one. Number two, it's not his business. Right? This is not him tweeting out about his own business. Now, the media is trying to make it appear that way. He's not separating himself from his business interests. No, he's not. But that's not what this is about. This is about Ivanka business interests. Ivanka's business interests. We have two people here. Donald Trump, and he has some business interests. And Ivanka Trump, his daughter. You know, the one that he says has nice tits. And she has business interests. They are separate. Separate. Two people, two businesses, two products line. And he's tweeting, Donald Trump, about Ivanka, her business. So there's no business interests connecting his comments to his finances. It's his daughter's finances. And this is not unprecedented. It's not unprecedented. Harry Truman his daughter, whose name I can't recall at the moment, but his daughter was interested in theater, and she was an actress. And there was an editor. You can go look it up on any of the websites out there. The history is, about it, is out there on it. One of the, uh, uh, the critics, an editor for a newspaper, essentially wrote an editorial about how she sucked at theater. And Truman came out to say he wished he could uh, punch the guy right in the nose. Now, he was the president at the time. He was speaking while in office about the business interests of his daughter. Oh, my God, that's so objectionable. But the media has to understand. When you're running for office or you're in office, you don't, you don't divest yourself of your family, of your daughter, of your son, of your wife, of your kids, of your grandkids. You still have interests. I didn't hear the media criticizing Barack Obama for attacking oil companies and banks and investors and people who manage 401k programs. And, uh, I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. Fast food restaurants, on down the line. Not because of his own business interests or not because of the business interests of his daughters, but because of his own personal beliefs. Not out of some belief that his daughters were being punished for his actions. No, no, no. No, not out, of, not out of the love uh, a father has for his daughters or his son in making sure they have a fair chance at life. No, 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 none of that. Barack Obama attacked those businesses because he just didn't like them. That, to me, is much more of a threat than a father in the White House sticking up for his daughter. And is she being punished politically? Is, is, is this political retribution for his for her uh, father's position? I have no idea. Frankly, that doesn't matter to me. Now, if Donald Trump tweeted about his own business interests, then we would have a problem. And we're going to have a problem anyway because the guy won't divest himself of his business interests. This is going to continue to be a problem. But not this time. This time, it's about, focused again, Ivanka's business interests. Not Donald Trump's business interests. And when you're the father of a daughter, 
You have an interest in sticking up for them. I'm sorry that Wolf Blitzer and Jake Tapper and Don Lennon, the uh, racial race baiter on CNN, and all the people on MSNBC, and Juan Williams, for that matter, don't understand that proposition. God, wouldn't you hate to be one of their kids? Jim Lockwood. If you like what you saw, ladies and gentlemen, hit the subscribe button so you can get updates whenever we post videos, which we do multiple times a day. And this is the Jim Lockwood Show, where the blind continues to fight the blind. Tonight, a D.C. realtor confirms to CNN that he helped Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner find a property in Washington. He could not confirm the location or whether it was a purchase or a rental. Now, Washingtonian Magazine, citing real estate sources, reports the house is in Washington's upscale Calorama neighborhood, not far from the house where President and Mrs. Obama will live when they leave the White House. According to real estate listings online, the house was recently renovated. You're seeing some image of, images of it here. It has six bedrooms, five and a half baths five wood-burning fireplaces and a large entry foyer that leads to equally big living room and dining rooms. That kitchen you see there, it's called a gourmet chef's kitchen. This house is in one of the most storied neighborhoods in Washington. Woodrow Wilson lived in this neighborhood. Hillary Clinton owns a house nearby. This house was sold last month for five and a half million dollars according to real estate listings online. It is not clear though who the buyer is. We have called and emailed the realtor and we have tried to contact the couple who were listed as the owners as of October, according to a deed that we obtained. We have not heard back from any of those people. So if Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, her husband and their family, move in, the Secret Service, presumably, they're going to have to take charge and do some right. renovations of, of their own. We talked about renovations. The Secret Service is going to have their own renovations. Wolf, a former Secret Service officer who I spoke to uh, back in May when President and Mrs. Obama uh, made arrangements to move into that particular house that they're going to move into, in that same neighborhood. He said that the doors to the president's house would have to be converted to being bulletproof. He said there would have to be ballistic panes placed in the glass behind the windows and Secret Service officers would be posted all the time outside of the president's house once he moves in there. You can expect the same kind of arrangements for Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner if they're going to move into a house nearby there. <laughs>